Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're back at Downtown Disney. We're here a little bit later than we usually are, but we're currently headed to World of Disney and hopefully we find some new merch today. It is currently 1031 and most stores seem to have lines already. On the way in, I actually passed by a Star Wars training post and the line was super long, so it's crazy how some days it's empty, some days it's not. Wow, look how busy it appears to be over here by World of Disney. Luckily, it doesn't look like there's much of a, of a line though. All right guys, we just got into World of Disney and as soon as you enter the store, on this first display in the women's section, you'll see these new pair of ears. These are really nice. The colors are, honestly, these are, these are really beautiful. Full of sequins. That bow, I love the color on it. These are $29.99. And as you guys can see, these are going really, really quick. Look at these. There's only like a few left. I'm sure this rack was like completely filled and now there's only like four left in this area. So I actually found out the name for those ears I just uh, showed you guys. They're called Pastel Tie-Dye. But anyways, there's a couple more new things here at World of Disney, which I want to show you guys. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. These are uh, two out of three of the new puzzles that arrived here today. So they have the Coco one. And the cool part about these, these, uh, these puzzles are that they light up. And then they have this one. It's a uh, Finding Nemo or Finding Dory to be exact. And as you guys can see, you, you make the puzzle and you put it on like this, this uh, backing and this is what lets it light up. This is so cool. And if you guys are like pros at like DCA, you guys will remember that these are the same billboards on the side of uh, where Adorable Snowman is. These, these are awesome. These are $19.99 and these are flying quick. Just as we were talking about this puzzle, I saw them take the last Coco one. So uh, these things are flying really quick. And then the third one is uh, Wally and Eve. And I'm, I asked one of the customers to see if they can bring one up for us. So they're trying to locate one, and if they can, I'll show you guys. But if not, then I'm sorry. But these things are flying super quick. And I mean, I can see why. Look at that. They light up, and you know, they resemble something inside of the park. Huge thank you to the customers here. They love us, they take care of us. <laughs> That's why we love World of Disney. But, but they were actually able to get us the, the super like, sought after puzzle, which is the Wally and Eve. Uh, this one is, I, I can see why it's selling out. This one is the coolest one, I think. I think it'd be this one and then Coco. But look at that. I've never seen a puzzle that lights up. <laughs> and like the best part is like, you know, you're basically taking home something from like the park. So, sort of, you know, you know what I mean? But really awesome. If you guys are lucky enough to find them, they have them here at World of Disney, $19.99. And it seems like they have tons of this one. And these are selling out also but these are getting like super hard to find. From what I heard, there's only like four left these. All right guys, so while I was at the entrance of World of Disney, I actually missed one of the restocks that they actually had. Uh, they restocked on these pretty cool card holder wallets. They have this one with the castle and all the characters. This one I was telling you guys about the other day. Uh, this is the one they have the lounge fly bag and the ears. Um, and also this is a lounge fly as well. And they have this tiki room one. This one's pretty cool. And something special about these that Beast was actually mentioning is that they have RFID blocking. So that way they can't, that way people that pass by you, they can't steal your information from your credit cards and stuff. So that just keeps all your info and all your, your credit cards safe from theft. If you guys are wondering, these are $14.99 and it seems like they have more of these in stock than these, but I believe they are gonna get restocked soon. In case you guys are looking for these, like I mentioned, they're, they're near the entrance. They're actually right in front of where the ears are. So you'll see the backpack, you'll see the wallet, and then you'll see the card holders. So I, I looked over and I actually saw this yellow shirt and it looks new to me. I'm not sure if it is or not. But here's a look at the back. And then the front's pretty cool. You got Mickey, Donald, Pluto, and Goofy. And the sizes range from a size small to a 2X. And if you guys are wondering, these are $24.99. So big thanks to Esther. She actually told us that this shirt is also new. This is a Stormtrooper shirt, which is pretty similar to the Darth Vader one, but honestly, I think the Stormtrooper one is a little, a little cooler. Here's a look at the back. Nothing, and this one retails for, let me find the tag. This one retails for $24.99, and the sizes range from a size small to a 2X. 
All right, guys, so we ended up leaving World of Disney. I had to buy the Wally and Eve puzzle. Beast also got one. Sadly, those are like the last like two or three or whatever. Even Franny got one. So we're all lucky enough to get one. But now we're gonna go ahead and check out the gates in front of Disneyland, see if we can find anything new. All right, guys, so we just got to the left entrance of Disneyland and look, there's like a ladder out there. Me and Beast were talking, it kind of looks like they're like changing light bulbs or something because all the lights are, are even on inside of Main Street. Let me zoom in for you guys. See the Emporium sign is on. And there's even a boom lift over there. It's currently parked, I don't see anybody using it, but but I did see a couple workers in there just walking around. Here's a current look at Mickey Mouse. He looks a little rough right now. <laughs> look at him. I'm sure we will get some love soon though. All right, so here's a look at Main Street from the right side of Disneyland. Uh, you can still see that work truck there. It's been there for the past few days. I'm sure it's moved and stuff, but it just it's been parked there, and I'm sure they're doing work nearby it. Uh, also, you can kind of hear in the distance the the park music playing. You probably can't hear it through the camera because the Esplanade music is way too loud, but uh, from where I'm standing, you can hear it in the distance. I know I keep saying this, but I cannot wait to get back inside of Disneyland. It's going to be a magical day. Today is Thursday, so people are waiting in line to get into a touch of Disney. I think they already opened, but there's just that many people trying to get in today. But look at that. All right, so we're gonna make a quick trip to Wetzel's Pretzels because, okay. according to Beast, we actually get 30% off today for being Legacy Pass holders. All right, so Beast actually pulled it up. So it says that we get 30% off Monday through Friday here at Wetzel's Pretzels from now until the 31st of March. So I ended up getting Wetzel bits and a Coke. And Beast got this like uh, Fruity Pebbles like uh, pretzel, which it looks pretty good. I don't know, it smells good too. So just keep in mind, from now until the 31st of March, Monday through Friday, uh, you just go into Wetzel's Pretzels, tell them you're a Legacy Pass holder, or Annual Pass holder, or whatever, and they'll give you the 30% off. So Beast was nice enough to share some of his uh, Rainbow Crunch Pretzel. That's what it's called. That's the official name that Wetzel's Pretzels calls it. And uh, I can't wait to try this. It looks pretty good. It smells good, like I mentioned earlier. You want to try Beast? Oh, no, 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 thank you. It looks really sweet, so. It is. Okay, yeah, <laughs> thank you. But, That's oh, pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good? Dead. It tastes like a bowl of cereal. Oh, yeah. serious? That's really good. At first, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know, but once I once I ate it, it definitely tastes like a bowl of cereal. That's so good. Man, I'm stuffed from eating all those Wetzel bits. <laughs> it was really good though, so definitely recommend going to hey, Wetzel's Pretzels hey, and use that 30% off. I think now we're gonna head to the Lego store, and that might be our last stop for the day. These brick sketches are pretty cool. Like, yeah, Mickey. And then we have Mickey there too. That's awesome. These are $16.99. And I think here for being a legacy pass holder, annual pass holder, you get 10% off normally when you come to the store. Uh, just show them your pass. And then they also have some Raya Legos as well. Raya and the Last Dragon. Looks like the sets range from $30 to $80. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge Stranger Things fan. They always sell out and they currently have it in stock. It's $199 and it says it's exclusive to the store. So and maybe one day, but not today. That's too much, but it's really cool though. So originally this is what we came here for. We came here to look for the Winnie the Pooh set that came out recently. Uh, apparently they sold out. They might restock tomorrow. I think uh, Beast was telling me to get their shipments on Fridays. I'm not sure yet, but they do have it on display. So at least we're able to see it. It's $99.99 and it comes with all the characters and it's, it's a it's a pretty cool it's a pretty cool set. I don't think they've ever made like uh, Winnie the Pooh Legos before, so this is probably a first. Look at that. That's awesome. Now we're in the Star Wars section. I like these. My goal is to own all of them. So far, I only have the Stormtrooper, but I'm still missing Boba Fett and then the fighter pilot. But these all cost sixty dollars. This one's pretty cool. Look at that. It's called Death Star Final Duel. You got Luke and Darth fighting right there. Well, the Emperor is. I mean, I don't know. I don't remember him <laughs> shocking people at that point, but it's still pretty cool though. This one is a hundred dollars. All right, guys. So we ended up leaving uh, the Lego store. I think we end the video here. It's a, it was a very short day just because there wasn't much going on today, but 
Anyways, if you guys did like this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.